Any particular player, before I get to any of the comments and questions here, Kevin, that is most intriguing to you? So not necessarily the best player that you can think of, but one in which you are just waiting to see, will this guy step out? Will he break out uh, as an impact player this year? I think the one of the more important ones definitely is going to be Alblage Jr. Uh, Miami Lowe loses Michael Jackson to the NFL. And then after that, you have guys like Nigel Bethel, uh, DJ Ivy. You have a lot of inexperience behind uh, Trajan Bandy. And right now, it looks like Al Blades is the man to play alongside Trajan Bandy on the outside. And I'm really excited to see if he can take that next step and become a true number two, because what Rump has done with that defensive back room at all and, and completely is impressive. And the fact that you've had now in just a few years, you've had guys like Sheldrick Redwine, Jaquan Johnson, Michael Jackson Jr., who a lot of guys were in a way overlooked by the NFL, not only be drafted, but in the case of guys like Jaquan Johnson, be drafted a lot, a, a lot higher than they probably would have been under Mark Rick. Another guy that I really like is KJ Osborne. Obviously, he will likely be the starting wide receiver alongside Jeff Thomas. And then I would say probably another guy I'm really interested to see if he can finally take that next step. And it seems like he's kind of been stumped in his, his development based a lot on his injuries is Zach McLeod. While you have the two linebackers in Pickney and Quarterman who are going to dominate this year, there is no doubt in my mind that they are going to be two of the best linebackers in college football past that you need that third guy and I think it can very much be uh, Zach McLeod who steps up he does have a lot of speed you'd like to see what he I'd, I'd like to see him use that speed though to take better angles on the football because you see sometimes that he gets kind of burned on his angles and then really just loses steps and loses the perfect tackling advantages and gives the other team more yards I think if he could stay healthy this year, which is a seemingly going to hopefully be a case, he can be a guy who reaches into reaches into his draft stock a little bit, maybe doesn't get drafted, but can make the roster out of training camp or can make a practice squad and will definitely become an undrafted free agent. Good stuff from Kevin uh, Fielder. You can catch him on uh, Twitter, also on State of the U. So it's the Kevin Fielder. You can catch him right there. Follow him on Twitter and also with him. Uh, we got John Michaels, of course, and of course, Cam Underwood at State of the U, along with Justin Dottavio, who joins us on a regular basis to break down the X's and O's there at uh, the platform that's got the uh, Miami Hurricanes uh, uh, just completely covered from start to finish to get you set for 2019. We do exactly the same thing right here at Mark Ryder TV, the voice of college football with guys like Kevin, of course, Cam Underwood uh, from State of the U. Uh, Zoe joins us on a regular basis as well. Uh, here in the live chat, you got the wholesome one, Dwayne Holloway, who's got a fine YouTube channel, uh, the wholesome one, H O L S U M the number one covering Miami football. So we are inundated with the Canes. And if you love Miami football, that's why you're here as well. 